and you know everyone gets out of out of the way for you as well so you, you guys don't even have to wait they everyone ushers you you know up to the front of the line and and you know they're patting you on the shoulder and patting you on the back and and thanking you for for everything that you've done for uh, for greenest um, I'll, I'll sit with the other elf the, the dwarf looks over at the dragonborn um, <laughs> fighter and just kind of goes you're looking a lot better t today than you were last night. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, eat up. Who knows what today's going to bring? And uh, I might actually go and have a little look for um, Escobar. Well, um, yeah, Escobar. To you, you see Escobar. To uh, he. He's on the other side of the courtyard, and he gets up from the table and, uh, you know, pats a few people on the shoulder as he starts to, to walk away. And you can see that he's walking up to, you can see that he's walking up the rampart uh, to the northern wall of the castle, of the, the center keep. So what do you want to do? You can see that he's walking up there. Hint he's in. just, he just, yeah. I'll, well, I'll just follow, follow him up there. Okay. Yeah. As you're, as you're, as you're walking up the ramp, you can see that he's, uh, you know, got his arms crossed and you know, you know, stroking his beard and just kind of shaking his head. And and as you get up to the top of the ramp, you can, you know, as the sun is shining down midday. You know, as you get up there, you can glance over the wall, and with a quick inspection, it shows that over half of the buildings uh, in Greenest are heavily damaged, and much of the town's wealth looks to be carried away. And you can actually see the lines of of treasure and trinkets and stuff, basically leading a trail right right out the the center of town. And this is actually visible from the keep. And you know, like I said, there there's still injured people down in the courtyard. Uh, however, it's not as bad today. Uh, there's a, you know, a lot of them are up, bandaged up. You know, walking around with aid from like a maybe a a, a crutch made out of a, a wooden plank, and you know, their their heads bandaged up with linen. And so it looks like uh, things are are definitely looking a little bit better today. But there are still some some wounded people around. I'll basically just go up to him and kind of tell him where he's looking down at the village and just kind of say, a lot of work for you guys in the next few months, get this place repaired. Yeah, he says, uh, uh it will. It'll take a, a long time to rebuild. But the people of Greenest are strong, and we will persevere and we will rebuild. We are not going to let this hamper us. What can I do for you this morning, my my friend? Because where no, where are you I know it's to? I know it's what early. Have you decided to do. Well, we're we're definitely going to go and fight. well. I I don't speak for my full group, but I'll go and then um, try and hunt down this dragon queen cult, this dragon cult. Um, I'm sure the others will follow suit. We're what they they've done to the village and uh, and I trust that you need. Well, I, I would appreciate it, and uh, I I want to to help you with that. Uh, Topher Blackstone, thank you for the follow. Uh, he says that uh, he is not a, there's there's much to be done here in Greenest, but uh, he is an honorable man. He wants to to help you, and he will he will pay everyone in your group two hundred and fifty gold apiece if. Uh, you can do something for him. That's if you decide to. Ch it, that's if you decide to stay. Well, I mean, we were certainly on our way to arms, but um, we. I mean, majority of us were looking for adventure, and it seems, it seems <clears throat> we found it. <laughs> seems like you did um, find it. Um, I just wanted to to ask you if you've had a chance to. Um, Get those um um dwarf elements buried because it's weighing heavy on my mind that there's brethren that haven't been buried properly. 
you were uh, team speak was messing up. Is it messing up for you uh -huh. as well? Can you guys hear no, me? Okay? I'm yeah, waiting for you. Okay. So what was that again? I, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. You were I'm just right. saying. Um, have you had Have you had a chance to get the uh, those dwarven remains buried under from <clears> underneath <throat> the keep? It just it weighs heavy in my mind to see that those brothers brothers lying I, unburied. Yeah, he, he says that that is where Escobert is now. Uh, he has taken uh, several of the of the guards and. Uh, they are going down to check this out. Uh, he had mentioned something to it uh, to me earlier this morning uh, before he left after breakfast, and uh, they are going down there to take care of that now. And he tells me that uh, it was not just a straight shot. He said uh, that you informed him that there was another path down there as well. Yep. Voodoo and not child. made by dwarven or human hands either. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so this keep was made by by humans many many years ago voodoo chili thank you for the follow welcome to the community well it's it's, it's neither dwarvish nor human what so <clears throat> something else was well. down there at some point he's definitely uh, he's definitely in the process of taking care of that as we speak so he will make sure they okay. they get a proper burial this boy deserves a proper burial as they kick dirt over him like they did in uh what was that was it young guns i think i think it was <laughs> But yeah, he, he offers you 250 gold per person. Um, you know, if you guys want to hang around, if you want to help uh, Greenest, uh, he's going to need to use all of the his manpower and all of his uh, soldiers. He he needs to concentrate on refortifying the keep. Uh, as as you can see, there's been actually there's been a lot of damage to the keep now that it's you know daylight out. You can actually see uh, the western wall has been heavily damaged, so there's uh, starting to uh, be more people show up to, to work on the wall as well. And Nighthill uh, tells you that uh, the, this is a time that we need to mend the, the town of Greenest. There's a lot of mending to be done in a long road ahead of you, but I wish you well. Um, I'll, I'll speak, we'll speak to the, we'll talk, we'll talk and we'll come back with our decision, but I'm... I'm I'm very sure that we'll be um, we'll be able to help you. We'll go down, enjoy breakfast with your friends. Uh, stop by the quartermaster. He has orders to uh, give you anything that you need that we have, and you're more than welcome to anything. You're more than welcome to stay here in Greenness as well as long as you'd like. Thank you. And your it, hospitality is, yeah, uh, it is uh, most gracious. I, you know, this morning I was thinking, uh, what would have happened if uh, your your group of adventurers uh, were not here? I, I I'm actually scared to even think about the possible outcome of what could have happened. So, like I said, uh, you have my deepest, sincerest thanks, and uh, I am forever indebted to you for helping save uh, my town of Greenest. No, no F spots or maybe he's my friend. You've We've survived the night. The town is safe. It's and you can move on now and rebuild the village. And we will. It will take time, but it'll be done. He says, "Go down, have and uh, have breakfast with your companions, and and enjoy the time." Yep. And there's another ale with my name on it. <clears throat> and I'll turn. <laughs> there's stretch. Down there. <laughs> I'll stretch. Turn round and head back down to the. You can you can smell the alcohol on Night Hill's breath as well. So. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Hey, Ralph. All right. So, uh, what else is uh, everyone doing? You guys are pretty much just uh, eating and conversing with bacon. one another. Bacon. Uh, there, there's so much bacon. It's, it's ridiculous. It's like Bacon Fest 2014. It's just bacon's everywhere. Bacon. As soon as the, uh, as soon as I finish with my breakfast, I'm gonna head off to Quartermaster. Alright. What do you need? I'm going to see if they have any split mail. Split, split mail? They, split. Yeah, they, they don't have any kind of splint armor. They, the only thing that they have is, is chain mail, basically. They have like a, one or two suits of chain mail. Anything more than that. Uh, they just, uh, for this area, they, they really just don't need anything. They really don't need anything more than than chainmail. So, but 
you know, he kind of chuckles and he says, well, after last night, maybe we may need to rethink that <laughs> for the future. <clears throat> yep. And, okay. Going and, to. Do they have any katanas, Dave? You know what? They have several miniature katanas that are like short swords, Kadojo. They do. Okay. Fastening breaches onto cloaks. You will you will not get the the long sword damage. Everything will still stay uh, short sword damage. But you can you can actually rename your swords short katanas instead of short sword. You can they can have they can be a uh, short katanas. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to go talk to the leader gentleman that Ralph was talking to. I forget his name. Uh, Governor Nike. He actually, uh, as you guys are eating, and he actually comes over to the table and and uh, asks how everyone is this, this morning, this great morning. Mm, fine. I'll raise my ale. I think so too, old balls. <laughs> I'd rather have uh, after a good rest. And I'd rather have short wine. scimitars than katanas, but. That's what he wants, so that's what but it is. But we haven't heard about his, his offer um, from Ralph yet, have we? No, because I was waiting for Kadojo to get back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm with Kadojo at the Quartermaster, and I'm asking for two more healing kits so that we each have one when we leave. Uh, yeah, uh, they've actually got uh, two left. So there's a total of... Uh, he said, ah, yes, uh, your, uh, your female companion, she, she took some as well last night. So here are the last two kits that I have. You're more than welcome to them. So there's a total of five There's a kit for you, and a kit for you, and a kit for everybody! <laughs> Alright, that's it. Not you have like to speak don't Valley need Girl the rest of the night. You have to RP in Valley Girl the oh rest of the gosh. night. Oh my gosh! No, I was trying to do Oprah. Uh -huh. Obviously failed my Oprah role. <laughs> I, I thought it was uh, sort of like a uh, valley girl, actually. That's why I said that. <laughs> okay. What would you say the, the strongest ale they have here, anyway? Because that's what Dwarvish, I'd probably be drinking. Dwarvish, of course! <laughs> oh, then I'll definitely probably be drinking a <laughs> cup of that. You can drink as much as you want. Constitution saving throws. Uh, constitution checks incoming pretty soon. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so you've got uh, your kits there, Guy. Uh, anyone else want to uh, do anything? Night Hill is at the table. Uh, he, he does uh, sit down with you guys as well. And uh, looks at the, the two Dragonborns with their massive amount of uh, food and so is you gonna eat all of that? Can I get a piece of that? <laughs> Give me one of it. Give me half of that slab of bacon. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? You guys can. He's he's just uh, eating some fruits and vegetables, and, and you know he had to play with so, as well. So I'll just turn around to him and say, um, so, Night Hill, what was? Um, can you get any more details about this offer? Ah. I can. Yep. Well, my scouts have... I had sent out several scouting parties. These cultists and um, dragonkin, they were, not, uh, they were not trying to conceal their exit. Uh, so they were able to scout them rather easily uh, to the southeast. Uh, they, they, they were able to scout uh, at sunup we scouted almost 12 miles and the trail was still heavily visible so uh, I was alerted of this so we we think they we know what area that their uh, their base of operation or their or their their foothold or their hideout whatever they want to call it we think that we know where they are so uh, what I want to offer to you I, I've already talked to uh, my friend Rurak here and uh, like I proposed Fallen. to him I, I propose to all of you as well uh, I, like I said uh, I am totally forever indebted to all of you uh, I am I am scared to even think about what could have happened if you were not present here 
last night. Uh, my, my guard, my militia, my personal guard have all been beaten up rather badly from last night's attack. And like I said, I, I do appreciate you because uh, we could not have handled this without you guys. So I'm I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to pay 250 gold to each one of you. And hmm. what I want to know is the exact location of this camp, where it is sited. I want to know how many raiders there are at this camp. I want to know who their leaders are, all of them. I also want to know what is motivating all of these attacks, not only on Greenest, but the all small but the other small towns and villages around in this area. And also if you can get me information on future attack sites, I want that information as well. And like I said, I am willing to pay you 250 gold apiece. I hope that uh, would be worth the the amount of time that you can stay here, and I and I really believe that uh, that would be more than what you could have gotten in Om for adventuring. I am intrigued by your offer. I can obviously see that your your city and the surrounding cities need some help. This is no small threat. My only concern is I was heading towards Alms trying to track down a thief of well renown. Um, but perhaps you have information that could assist me. Um, otherwise, I, I know I'm still looking for some information and this, this is a bit of a side trip for me, but perhaps, perhaps it is worth my while. Well, think about it. Uh, get back with me. I will. I will leave you. I'm going to mingle around the crowd and and say hello to to everyone. So get back with me. Uh, I would like for you to stay. And uh, uh, like I said, my offer stands. I would be willing to pay 250 gold apiece. However, uh, if you do find any of the other valuables that were taken from the town. Uh, I would like to, that is why I'm offering you so much, is because uh, I would like the families of Greenest to get their, their personal belongings back. And I'm sure you would probably respect that as well. I just cast a glance of the rules there. I'm just going to give a smock. Alright. So... Green Hill, uh, I'm sorry, not Green Hill, but uh, Night Hill, he, you know, bows to you. He goes over to a couple tables and starts to, you know, laugh and talk with everyone at, at the other tables. Ralph kind of leans back in his chair and just goes, so what do you think? 150 gold, it's a pricely sum. Sounds like uh, something I'd be <laughs> willing to take up. <laughs> if it gets me a nose this is, this is good money for a good challenge and that's what we are here to do I know that at least one of us wants a rematch with the Incredible Green Hulk <laughs> and speaking speaking out of character here that 250 gold is more than everyone has ever seen in their life I mean it is that is a shit ton of money. And and honestly, when when he mentioned the word two hundred and fifty, you guys would have all said, Wow, that is Would we be suspicious? No, but but you can tell that he's serious that he wants to find out about this information. You don't know why he wants to find out about the information. You didn't ask him, but uh he, he definitely wants to know, you know where they are, how many there are, who the leaders are, and yada yada yada. He he was definitely persistent with that, and he was looking everybody in the eye, you know, looking around the table. He was definitely serious about it. Well, Mage, I know you have unfinished business elsewhere, but perhaps you would cast your lot with us for a time. Me? 
And then yeah. Night Hill comes back over the t t to the table, and then he looks at, at you, Misty, and he says, he tells you uh, to get the, the quartermaster or Escobert the information on the person that you are looking for and make sure that they get me that information and I will see what I can do with other connections that I have uh, throughout the greenfields. Excellent. That uh, that would rest better with me. I would hate to waste my time on on this endeavor and completely disregard my own. So I appreciate that. Hmm. He gives you the Spock eyebrow as he gives a hmm. And then he goes back off to mingling with the other uh, citizens of Greenest. Well, <laughs> well I turn to uh, Rurark and definitely say to him hmm, that offer that he um, gave us is definitely very tempting. Especially, especially since it would be nice to um, put uh, our names out in, um, in stories to be told for the coming of age, coming of ages and stuff. <laughs> you should write. I mean, you're you're a troubadour. You should write a great song and you should sing it for us next week. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Dave. If only the I Battle of the Red that, Mill. The dwarf kind of kind of looks towards um, Evgar and just kind of goes, "Well, I'll. Uh, I'm definitely going to be having a look at this and." If if people want to join me, then fine. This town, this town needs some help, and they're willing to pay us handsomely for it. Well then, my dwarven friend, I shall follow you for this most biggest adventure that I can write a good story, song, whatever on. I laddie. Uh, Putting my name down in song would mean that my name would carry on after I pass. And, um, I'll I'll speak to you later about something that I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you about something later on, but um, I don't want to do it here. Dad. Something a bit personal. And uh, he'll just kind of get up and um, and go, and he's going to go and he needs to shut up in his axe. His axe get absolutely hammered the last night. So he's going to need to take the chips and chunks out of it and he's going to go and he said there. Uh, he just kind of nods the table and says, I'll see you later. But let me know what you decide when you've when you've decided and kind of nods to Misty and Rogue. I should point out that Misty wouldn't very much appreciate being called a maid. She might so go so far as to lean across the table and say, you'd be wise to remember my name. I did. Touche. Mage. Yeah, I remember it's mage, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. A mage does not have a real sort of power I have. And uh, if you need me to show you once more, call me a mage again. Ooh. Sassy. Was that directed at Ruda? No, it's directed at me. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just give a nod and I can live with that. I like it. Sorry, guy. I, I didn't even know what you were talking to me at first. I was like, wait a second. Was there another mage in this part? What? I like that. Wow. <laughs> just out of character. <laughs> wow. I like that. I love the RP. You guys continue. I'm listening. Man. <laughs> wow, I like this. Nah, it's cool. I cast my lot with the dwarf. I think this is something that I want to pursue. You can uh, you can count me in. I'm going to look around the room and see if there's any possibility that there's a criminal element around here. There is. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's, that was out of character. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> well, dwarf. I mean, Ruha. Oh, mm, well, I lost close. that. Close. That was no, close. I, I literally lost that halfway through. <laughs> Ruach. Ruach. Um, that was better. <laughs> there we go. A little more. 
Yep, that's it. I um, I've grown fond of this party, and I I think if I can leave this information with the the information network available here at Greenest, I I could put my lot in with I. 250 gold is nothing to scoff at, and it would definitely serve me well if we can survive this uh, particular trip. So, yeah, I think I think I'd be in for this. Exactly, Voodoo Chili. Exactly. We just need to hear from the from the Dragonborn. I've been stuffing my face with this bait. So I've just <laughs> been <laughs> sitting there, kind of eating, listening. Just, just the, 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 all the fat dripping off the mouth and everything. It, it, and yeah, just like... he was just <laughs> barreling down, face down, in this slab of bacon. <laughs> and he pulls up, and he's got like this piece of bacon hanging out of his mouth. I could, I could just see him looking just up, dripping just, everywhere. Yeah. Looking up and just giving us a thumbs up, you know what I mean? Like he's just like, I'm too busy. I'm just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> We're rock. His face <laughs> looks like a freaking glazed donut right now. <laughs> Reese running down the cleft of his chin. Uh, I just give good. um uh Silverclaw the a uh, weird look. I kind of swallow the food and say, I came down here. For two missions, or for with two missions, one to find the owner of that mummified hand, and two to find out why these dragons are so active and put a stop to it. Speaking of which, seems like we're all in then. Kadojo had dreams last night. You guys continue to uh, RP it out because I am sending some tells out to everyone. So if you're here to figure out uh, why the dragons are so active, I figure if we follow the cult of the dragons and learn their motivations, oh. that's exactly what you need, yes? We were told their motivations last night. And I believe them. They believe Surely. their god, T Tiamat, oh, will come. God. And they are preparing for her. So would you like to come along on this adventure and earn yourself some gold? I'm telling or did you have a better plan in mind that would give you more information about the dragons than confronting the cultists directly? Well, dealing with these cultists will give me some clear answers better than just wandering around like an idiot with his thumb up his ass. No. Uh. Then uh, I turn to Ralph Wayne. Or er, Rurak. Before you continue really on, on, before you guys continue on, was someone screwing around with my mo mummified golem hand? No. Out 